mind Should I find something new Or should I be tripping on you What? These decisions ain't easy Okay guys, so I already went in And I did my brows off camera I do have an eyebrow tutorial on my channel So if you guys want to check that out Go ahead and I'll link it down in the description down below um, I'm going to go in I've already cleansed my face or whatever I'm going to go in and I'm going to moisturize with my Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Sorry y'all, if y'all hear any munching in the background, that's Justin. He's sitting right here eating Pringles on an iPad, munching, okay? So, for my um, dry people, um, I know I use the rose hip oil by Mario Badesco and I told you guys that that was about $22 I think I'm gonna go in with the oil today and this one is a bit more um budget friendly I'm trying to give you guys as always alternatives that are a little bit more budget friendly and still gives you about the same outcome so the black radiance luminous dry oil moisturizer it's also like a it has the same applic applicator as the um rose hip oil this is oh and this smells so good i forgot how good this smell this is also pretty good so if you guys are looking for an alternative and let's look how how that makes my skin look and you don't need a lot of that oil, y'all. Just a little swiggle swaggle. I'm going to go in with my favorite primer right now, which is the Full Spectrum CoverGirl Matte Ambition Primer. It's a mattifying skin primer, and it also has sunscreen in it of SPF 20, which is awesome. Another alternative for a skin perfecting primer, I know... I have been using my Lancome one, which that one can be pretty pricey. Um, a, another one that's pretty good is the Angel Veil Primer by NYX. And this is a skin perfecting primer. So I like to use this as well. Just in my texture areas. Just to give me, just to give the appearance that my skin is a bit more smoother. Of under my eyes and my forehead. I have been loving the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. Now, when I'm doing everyday makeup routines, I don't want to have to mix foundations, this, that, and the third. So, this is about the best match for me for summer, which is the 177. And I only have to use one. And that looks pretty good. I mean, like I said, it's not full coverage to me. I feel like it's buildable, but it's definitely not full coverage. For concealers, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible and Honey. And Honey is more to conceal because I do have some dark circles. And then I go in on top with Walnut to lighten a bit. The contour, I'm going in with the Black Radiant Medium to Dark Contour Palette. And for contour for me, I like to take the contour and the sculpt shade and I dip my brushes between the two of them to contour my cheeks and I like to pat the contour in I used to do swipe in circular motions but for some reason not for some reason I know why it was giving me a patchy look because I was swiping instead of patting and I also like to smile when I'm doing my contour because the contour is supposed to lift so when you smile, your, your cheeks lift up. So my edges look crusty. 
all right guys look who is making a comeback the sponge y'all know i've been talking about how i don't really use the sponge anymore because it sucks up so much of the product yada 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 but today i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna use the sponge to blend out my concealer i'm kind of scared because i haven't used the sponge in so long oh mg look how that nose highlight just blended right out and i'm i actually stopped well, i'm gonna stop highlighting my forehead and just using whatever excess concealer i have left over from highlighting my forehead just because i don't like the look that it's giving me as of late so so how's everybody's summer going so far i have any plans this summer any trips or anything like that i'm really not doing too much this summer other than continuously trying to perfect my craft building my brand getting it up off the ground justin starts pre-k in august guys and he'll be following um, the school district's schedule. So he'll have off weeks here, weeks there. So I was contemplating going back to work for a little bit just to save up some money because I have plans. I have some things that I have in the works right now. And it would be nice to have like a steady paycheck coming in. Um, but with his schedule, how his schedule is going to be right now, he's in daycare. In daycare, if he can go, I can pick him up whenever I want. There's that third. Once he starts pre-K in August, he's going to have a set schedule. And I have to pick him up and drop him off by a certain time. And if I don't, then we have to pay for aftercare. So, pre-K eliminates us having to pay daycare anymore, which is $165 a week which is well over $500 a month. It's like another rent bill. Um, so we're definitely trying to get away from having to pay any more daycare, but because of the times that he has to be dropped off and picked up, it's going to conflict with the working schedules. If I was to go back into corporate America, it's not a must for me, but it's just something that I want to do to quicker achieve my goal. But Justin is my number one priority. So if it the if it's not financially like it's not a, a good fit for us to put him in before and after care, then I'll just continue to do what I'm doing until something comes through that'll work or fit in that schedule. And yeah, it's exciting because he's growing up so fast. It makes me sad. Because he'll be starting kindergarten next year. So it makes me sad. Does it make me want another baby? Hell no. Okay. I would if I could have a surrogate and if I could have um, a around the clock babysitter. Oh, because my pregnancy was so rough with Justin. Like the first six months was good. After that, he started giving me trouble. He was trying to come early. I was in a hospital for a month. I was on bed rest for like the last two or three months of my pregnancy. It was just crazy. Okay, guys, I'm going to go in and I'm going to set my face. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Oh, fuck. Her powder in honey. And I'm going to set up under my eyes. I just wasted not a baking girl for my clients I will bake them um, depending on their skin type because I do have dry skin and I'm I am textured up under my eyes and I am drier up under my eyes I don't want the setting powder to make me look more drier than I already am just to give my eyes a little bit of dimension, I'm going to go in with this palette right here by Pure. It's their Midnight Masquerade palette. This came in one of my boxy charms. This palette is so cute. 
And I'm just going to go in with this shade right here. I'm just going to, you know, put this all over my crease just to deepen it up a bit and give me some dimension. So you just see how that just gives me a little dimension opposed to it just looking like the concealer is just sitting on there. It's just a little something, something, okay? So I just powder, okay? And I probably should have used my air spun powder. I don't really like using that, um, what is it? The Fenty. I don't like using that to carve out my cheekbones. It just doesn't give me the highlighted effect up under my eye. Like that does. Like that's definitely going to give me something. Uh, contour my nose just a little bit. Contour my nose. I like to bring it up into my eye eyebrow area. Just so it can look. So it won't look like there is no type of separation. Because naturally, that's how, you know, your nose and your everything connects. So you can see, like, it gives it more definition. Makeup is just all about enhancing what you already have. Yes, sometimes it can transform the hell out of you. But you just want to already enhance it. Like, you see how my nose looks more defined, but... The, that structure that's there I'm just following it it's already there it's just enhanced a little more that's all and for my blush I just like to you know drag it down into the contour because I don't like that separation between the two so that's what I'll normally do and then I'll pat I'll smile and I'll just pat a little bit of the lightest color on my cheeks just to give me you know some color the highlighter i'm using a crown case highlighter my one of my favorite all-time highlighters and i'm just going to put that on the highest points of my cheeks the lashes today i'm going to do something pretty simple um we're still going to want to be able to see just a little something something so we're not looking like a turtle so these are some lashes from AliExpress. They're mink. I'll make sure I list the name and the number of them. I know that they're Vissel free. I just can't remember the number right now. So I'll have to list that down in the description for you guys. Because these are awesome lashes as far as like a more of a natural look. So now we're going to put these lashes on. Look how pretty those are. It always wants to cooperate better than the other. And we're going to add some lip liner and just a little gloss inside our face. And we'll be done. So today I'm going to line with the NYX lip liner and toast. So I kind of brought this liner up some. Into my lips because i am going to use my favorite gloss which is by rihanna her fenty um let me go get it let me see what it is this gloss right here by rihanna is bomb it is in fussy uh gloss is everything okay i don't think it gets no better than her gloss like her gloss is top freaking notch believe me when i say it <laughs> all right so to set my face i'm going in with my two fave setting sprays which is the dewy and set by anastasia and then the all-nighter i follow up with the all-nighter by urban decay because the all-nighter just makes your makeup last all all day the dewy and set just lifts up the powder i feel like it gives you a, a more of a natural finish And it's doing a set. 
it smells so freaking good it's so refreshing it's such a refreshing spray y'all and we got that i'm gonna follow up with the all-nighter so let me go fix myself up a bit and then i'll come back put the final look okay guys so this is the final look what do you guys think y'all feeling this little shebang i got going on here y'all see this how cute is this and i only paid 20 dollars for it Ooh. Only thing I don't like about this is the little hump de hump. The little hump de hump. Hey, hey. The little hump de hump that it got going on right here. But other than this, this wig is super cute. It's so lightweight and it's perfect for summer. But anywho, what do you guys think? What you like? What you didn't like? Are you guys feeling these simple, easy, come at me summer tutorials or no? Or no? Oh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I had fun filming this video. This was so simple, quick, and easy to do. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all of your continued support. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Deuces.